All right, this holder hang out with one of my favorites, one of my favorites to ever put on the Burgundy and Gold, Pierre Garçon. Not only because we're both from the Caribbean, Haiti, Barbados, and Jamaica, but the man could play football. And I have to ask you, because I haven't had a chance to ask you, Jahan Dotson and Terry McLaurin, the two guys that are now currently playing your position. Wow, what a future in them. But what do you see from a person of the craft who has done it at the highest level? What they have done and what the upside and the ceiling is for them. Could you just talk about that? Um, it's amazing when you have two great receivers, especially young receivers that are peaking at the right time. Because Dodson is going to obviously benefit from having Terry. We know he's a special talent. So that often you open up the matches up and feel for um, Dodson to do his thing. And Terry's going to always do his thing when it's crunch time. You have to be smiling uh, because <laughs> when you hear the words Eric the enemy yes and yes, you hear yes, yes. what he can do yes and very, very cool. how long his season has extended the last couple of years as an offensive player loving this franchise the weapons that we just talked about and what could happen I'm excited to see um, Eric be in his office. You know, it's always exciting when you see great plays, you know, well thought out plays work you know, on Sundays as, as a player that gets us excited. As fans, they obviously like, oh wow, that's a great play. And you know, oh we gotta get the great fit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I get autographs? <laughs> <laughs> Ken Harvey, come on in here, Ken. <laughs> Ken, come on in here, Ken. No, hey. Ken, <laughs> one alumni, we're no, talking no, about no. Eric B. Enemy. Yeah, so he just gave his piece. You give your piece on Eric B. Well, well, what I didn't mean to jump in that. So spot, but you did. <laughs> but you did by yelling during the middle of the interview. You did. So you knew what you were doing. Go ahead. So you right. can say your piece and I can get back to the question. Just, I think it's a, good, it's a good need for a team. You need discipline. You need somebody that's going to push you. You may not like the way they push you, but you need somebody that's going to push you to be the best that you can be. And at the end result, I think the offense can be a dominant force. And then you already got a defense that's, that's showing that they can be a dominant defense. And together, you know, it's a good team and special teams. That's what we need. You know, if, if, if it's not, if you've been doing the same thing for four years, you know, we run, you got to change up something and make a difference. And sometimes it's that little key of attitude yeah. and a command of excellence, yes. knowing what to expect from the team. And push them to get to that accident. That, that, that crazy Great play on words. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's still, man, that's what my wife's been telling me about myself. Man. Like, you, need, you need to be excellent. You need to learn. So, so while I have you both here, the, the ownership. You all both look good. You all both walking upright. I mean, yeah. Right? You all both walking upright, right? Yes. Yes. But I have to ask you about that. I mean, because it's evaded everything that I do and everything the media does about this ownership. I mean, is a change really all that's needed at the top for everything else to trickle down? Because we talk about Eric B. Enemy, we talked about the talent, but if that ownership thing ain't right, it's just the circle. So what do you all feel about the ownership situation? I'll go first. Um, you know, the ownership from the player's point of view, we don't really deal with the ownership of you know, the business side of football. We deal with Eric Deanna, Ron Rivera, our strength coach, you know, our position coaches. So you know, we, we try to bring our excellence in that aspect and what the team, you know, do, change the name, change the ownership. We don't have an effect on that. We don't have, like, next, next thing you know, we're gone. So, you know, the team will still go on, but as the players point of view, we're like, all right, who's ever best for the team, for the community, we'll play hard. And to a point, I agree with it, but also I think it's, Things that you don't see are the things that make the difference, right? So, like, you may say racism in the world. My kids, first children's book, I'm not public, that I wrote for my kids because my kids were like, there are no black characters on TV, so they wanted to see themselves. Things that you don't realize trickle into a society, trickle into a team, and that's what ownership is. Things that they do will trickle into the team. When the players want somebody on the sideline that that's, they feel like, oh, he got our back, and it may be giving them a lunch, or it may be something. It may be even just the attitude with the potential ownership. The jerseys? Yeah, so jerseys. <laughs> Sometimes stuff, the players yeah. want to wear different jerseys. It, it makes a difference, <laughs> and, and you have an owner that understands that. Mm -hmm. That can make a huge difference. Wow. Nothing against Snipe. Snipe was a great marketing person. Right. But there's a difference between being marketing and ownership because the one thing you have to learn, one thing a lot of players learn, just because you're good at one thing, don't mean you're good at everything. Mm -hmm. And you got to find the right people around you to to, to support what your belief is and what you believe. Find people that are better than you yeah. to help you become better. And I, and I think that's uh, that, that will be the new type of ownership. The one caveat to this, it's like getting uh, a new suit 
for a day, a week, you may feel like you're something special. But ultimately, if you haven't changed, you might have been sued with the same, with, with the same person, the right? So you got to figure out how to change us and how to change it. Now that's where the new ownership can take a place. But if you don't, if you keep everything else the same, you have to change. I think, you know, the new ownership would obviously help the players get in film to play hard and show that effort on the yeah. field. And that's, that's what we all love. We love to see a players that show effort. Yes. Kickstart. Like, like, show the effort and we'll support you. You know, the ball's not always going to bounce our way, but if they, the players come out showing effort like they will because now it's a new wow. regime. So we're, wow. we're, we want to see that effort. You got you to kickstart for a mm -hmm. new year. Mm -hmm. You got a new owner. Mm -hmm. That's the kickstart. But what you do with it is up to the players. Yes. And, that comes and that's, down that's to us. That's, that's, yeah, the attitude the players have. And wanting to have it. Ken Harvey, yeah. you got yes. our song. <laughs>